All right, guys, I have a 2001 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with the Duramax diesel. I use the Torque Pro app, um, and there's a lot of guys asking how do you get your injector balance rates on here. There's no video to show it, so I'm gonna show you how to do it today. I have an LG tablet that I use. Um, I have the Aussie Gear OBD2 uh, Bluetooth connector that I bought on Amazon for 30 bucks. You can buy one, and it'll be shipped to your door. It's pretty good does everything we've used it on all three of our vehicles in our house anyways to get to this okay you're gonna go down here into your settings you're gonna go into the settings there you're gonna go down here to manage extra pits and sensors okay I already have this on here if you originally hit that and come to this this blank this screen will be blank so you go over here and it says add custom pit add predefined set or clear list you want to add predefined set once you do that, you'll come down here and it has all the vehicle manufacturers. I have a GM, so I'll hit that. And this will all come up, which will come up with all these equations and everything that you can now use. Once you go back, it'll have all that saved. You go into your real-time data. And once I go here, I'm gonna go to the settings on here, added display. I like using the dial meters with the little deal there. Anyways, now everything that's green is an active sensor that you can use. So when you go down here, everything will start coming up. There's my balance rates, and as you can see, they start coming up green. So now you can add them to your um, your tablet or your uh, home screen, whatever it is. And I'll do this with a large one. And there is my balance rates. Now, my question on this is balance rates are supposed to be between zero and four for the Duramaxes. Now, I don't know how this equation comes out for this, the minus 423, because all my balance rates are exactly the same. Once again, that was for cylinder one. I'll add a display, dial meter, and I will go down here to my injector rate of balance cylinder two. See, they're all exactly the same. So, which is good for me because it means all my injectors are balanced. But the thing is, is that I need to find out how it will read between zero and four. If I figure that out later on, I will put up another video to help you guys out. Um, I do hope this helps a lot of you guys out there because in injector balance rates for a Duramax, especially the LB7s, is something that you want to keep your eye on. Um, once you do that, you can put all eight of them in here. Um, I haven't really, I just got this, I just set it up, so I don't have much going on with it. I'm still playing with it or whatever. Um, I went in the settings, everything set, of course, to Celsius. In kilometers, I went and set everything back to degrees Fahrenheit and miles per hour. Um, the boost on here, everything I have in my truck, all my rail pressures, my boost, and my pyro right there. And if you actually go off of what my manual boost meter reads compared to what this does, it's pretty much dead nuts on. So um, it's a pretty good app. I mean, I hope a lot of you guys use it and set it up. Um, leave me some feedback if this helps you. If not, if you guys have any more questions, hopefully I can answer them. Like I said, I'm no genius to this. I'm just trying to help you guys out that have the uh, Torque Pro app and uh, help some of you Duramax guys out. So I hope this helps, guys. Have a good one.